Across the space time continuum. Enjoy your flight. I almost forgot. In order to successfully bring Biff back to our time period, it is necessary to accelerate up to 88 miles per hour and bump him. That's right, bump him. The impact of two traveling time vehicles will create a time vortex, sucking both vehicles and time travelers back to their original point of departure. There's no telling where or when Biff may be leading us, so be prepared for anything. Good luck, time travelers. Here are a few safety tips you should know before taking off. Watch your head as you step into the time travel vehicle. Once in, slide to the furthest seat. Adults, watch your head as the ceiling slopes down in the back. Remain seated. The safety restraint will be activated by one of Doc Brown's assistants. Keep your arms and legs away from the door. Take extra care that cameras and other personal belongings do not interfere with the safety restraint. No photography is permitted during the ride. And please, no smoking, eating, or drinking while inside the time vehicle. We ask that you follow these simple safety tips during your journey. Hurry up! Time Get ready! Continuum. Don't worry about Enjoy a thing. You're in good hands. Oops! I still haven't worked all the bugs out of this thing. But no matter, we're on a mission of universal proportions. Doc, Biff has passed through the space-time continuum, but we've got no way of knowing where he is. You mean, when he is. And we do have a way of knowing when he is. The eight-passenger time vehicle is equipped with a sub-ether time tracking scanner, which will allow us to track Biff to his precise location at the precise moment in whatever time period he may have trapped. Accelerating now to 55 miles per hour, 65, 75, 85! Go forth, time travelers, and remember the future is what...